Good morning everyone. So our new washing machine has arrived. Yeah. Keys have been helping to unwrap it. So it's out of the wrapper. And now we're coming to the fun, fun part. What we will do is unwrap it completely and then we'll have to connect it. So, as we all do, we read the instructions first. So, that's your gloss over instruction that tells you what to do. That's your full instructions. So, make sure before you start, make sure you do have everything. So, that's your blank. Always goes, comes with your washing machine. This is not a part of packaging. That's, that's to blank the bottom of your washing machine off to stop the moisture from getting into it. So we'll get to that part in a minute. These, that's our clips to hold the uh, blank. The, uh, the corrugated sheet, black sheet will be held with these little plugs. Then these, these are the blanks for the very important thing, which we never can forget, called a transportation bolt. If you ever installed a washing machine before, you know that each washing machine, when you buy it, comes with bolts. These are there to stabilize the drum during transportation. So the belt and the parts, moving parts inside, do not get damaged in the transport, during the transport. And um, next thing, make sure the wires, all three, make sure the pipes are easy to be detached. So everything that needs to be cut, cut it. You just got a bolt on it. We shall remove that bolt before we start. And this is a cringe noise. This is a cringe noise. You know how to do it. Like that. There you go. Right, so what we do here? The instructions, we'll be getting to them now. Look into that. When you go along, organize yourself, have everything already. So when it gets to it, you know where things are. Okay. That's things about the washing machine. This one is Hoover. It's called Hoover Dynamic Next. It's got a a triple plus rating, uh, 239 kilowatt per, per annum. It's a 10 kilogram front loader washing machine, so it's going to be a big one. And what about the noise? Well, we shall find that out when it's all ready. Right. Where are we? That's our warranty. Quick sheet. Right, apparently you can control this one with your phone app. We'll be getting to that, then that's going to be fun. Right. Let's start with it. So, start with the most obvious things. First of all, Remove these bolts. The bolts are very important. And I don't want to forget them. Don't want to miss them. So these plugs go in place of bolts. That's all in. Right. 
Look it up. Ready? Yeah. Drain. Holes. Some of the plug. These are free. So supply holes. Make sure that seals are there and are intact. The flatten goes on this thing. Always make sure when you tighten up every few turns, every few turns, when you tighten it up, make sure it's centered. Because if if the water the water hose is not centered, back up. the water hose is not centered one way correctly. So as you're doing it. Always make sure you're up. Always make sure it's in the middle. Couple of screws. Make sure it's centered. You'll feel the seal catching. There we go. It's all fingers, finger tight as well. These ancillaries don't need to be tightened up with any kind of tools. Finger tight, don't want to over tighten because then you'll squash the rubber, you change the shape and stop doing what it's supposed to be doing. So, that's the back of our washer. Now, what we're going to do, this is our corrugated base. So, use the polystyrene block. Came with it. Stick the washing machine into it. Yeah. So we've tipped it. What we'll do is gently lift it up. the rest of the packaging there we go it's our washing machine and it's full glory well, what, what you need to do now is these that's the back of the lo back of the transportation bolts these are the plastic plugs count them you don't want any of that to be stuck in the motor. There were four bolts, there are four plugs. Should they all removed? Now, go the inside of the washing machine. So there. All seams. Okay, and ready to go. Oh. No, that's part of suspension. That's a big concrete block. Look up here. That's a big concrete block. The counterweight of your washing machine. Right. I think we're happy here. Oh, I think it's here. There we go. Huh?
Two. Three. Excellent. That should supposed to protect the mechanical components of our washing machine. Right. Now, the next stage. So, let's go in there. This is our space before you start any kind of fittings. Please. Find out how much space you have. That's a very important thing. Simple measure. Measure the width. Measure the length. Measure the height. And then you know how much room you have to fit it. Right, that's a very tight fit. That's nearly, and that is. Oh, might be having to move the floor back a bit here. Think we. Will. Right. So once you've got all that, now. If you have a spirit level at hand, try to level out to stop the washing machine to trying to walk out of your house. This one actually seems to be absolutely fine. The legs are preset perfectly. Right. Let's try to get in here. Take your time when doing that. Make sure you do everything right. Measure it twice, try it twice, and do it once. Especially if you have fitted appliances that are not very easy to fit in and very tight to fit, then you don't really want to have to move it again after you've already finished. I think we, like, we are lined up now quite well. Feed the hoses. Put the hose. And drain the hose. I go through there. Unwind that little cable. So that's all in place. What you're going to do now is push the washing washing machine in place whilst feeding through the hoses so they don't get snagged or stuck anywhere. And you don't want to have to do it twice. There you go, I think we're all ready. So how is this? We've got a cold and hot water supply. This washing machine only takes cold water. So, for the fun bit now. Make sure that the socket you just plugged in your washing machine, that you switched it on before you pushed it in. You don't want that as a surprise either. Halfway there, get our hoses, take up a slack, and a little bit more. A little bit at the time, don't rush it. And when 
it's a tight space, try to center it as much as you possibly can. So when the washing machine spins, it's not in, it's not in close contact with our object. Seems like it is locked in place now. So for the hoses. Simply goes on there, and same rule. Don't rush it. Don't make it too tight. Put it on. Then make sure it's centered so the seal rests nicely on the tap, and then finger tight. Leave it. Now for our drainage. That simply slips on to there. And that's it. That's our washing machine installed. So, get some bits in for a quick spin. Make sure there are no leaks. At the end of the day, we all human, we all make mistakes. Let's hope it wasn't me and it wasn't this time. These, I didn't install it for a simple reason. If you, what it is, it creates the edge. Ah. What needs that hook is required. If you ever have a washing machine that has a drainage point, <coughs> there. Lower than a drum, you need to install one of that higher up than a drum. So I switched on and connected. Yeah. That's our quick wash. Let's try a quick wash. <laughs> 